Hey everybody! Welcome to part 4 of Crash Bandicoot 4. I'm your boy Nostalgia Scott, and let's do Road Crash before we go back to the water level because I really, I don't know, the way my control has been acting, I really don't feel like doing that. So this world has no Coco levels whatsoever. This is a purely Crash world. Okay. I like how it only shows two. But it's like, oh no, there's actually more than two guys. Ah, uh, there's 25 boxes. Holy tits. Part of my vulgarity, but. Alright, you know what? I'm going for the uh for the for the crystal. I'm going for the goddamn crystal. Screw the gem right now, man. Oh, if you guys heard a bzzz, that's my girlfriend. She's texting me because she's sending me money to order the pizza that I said in the last episode. You guys, like, allow me to get past? This is kind of annoying. Woohoo! Like, so far we haven't seen any speed boosts. There's a cop. You can actually take some shortcuts involving hugging the edge of the road, which is what we did to win in the first part of this. You guys remember the first one, right? Nope. We have to die. And you can't just... Oh, you can't actually leave the level. Okay. So, that's good to know. Oh, man. Already off to a good start, I see, in this episode. Oh, my lordy dordy. Let's go back. Hopefully we can get the entropy fight in this episode. Don't want this to be, like, another... Like hour-long episode. Okay, no, the last one was only like 22 minutes, but I had some stupid failures, you know? Man, come on, get out of the way! Yeah, just sometimes tap X, that way you don't slide too much. Because this, uh, this track has a lot of curves. Like your women. Hmm. Already past two people. So I think we're off to a better start in this or uh, this take, this, this attempt, attempt to, suicide attempt, attempted murder, attempted, cra crash is so full of himself that he just has a giant C logo on his back. By the looks of it in this level, we're going to need to take most of the jumps. Seems like they're almost always mandatory. Kinda hard to take that boost if the enemy there is, uh, um, like, kinda in the way. Man, come on, hopefully that doesn't screw us out of first place. Like, jeez louise, man. I just need to pass that one guy, and I have a feeling we're gonna fail and have to redo this level again. Mm, maybe not. Like, why does it just suck me up his butt? It's like he's having a reverse shit, you know? Uh-oh. Holes in the ground. Hole, holes in the ground. Actually, man, this, this level looks more like a, an issue to get all the boxes. And there we go! There's the crystal. A lot of the time, that's what gives people the issue, is getting first place. I believe there is a secret level that involves the whole bike shenanigans, but it's not that difficult. Okay, now we won't do double header though before going back to the water level because to go back there, we're gonna then then we'll have to defeat Entropy, and I don't want to fight Entropy before having to go back to the level. So, on these levels too, for the time trial, you do have to be coming, you do have to come in first, which is going to be a little bit of an issue. I kind of wish that these did laps, maybe, instead of just a single race, but I'm fine with that, too. Like, makes it so these levels don't take, like, three to four minutes. They only take, like, one attempt. Okay. So far, so good. Just grind it out. Life is a grind. Try not to get too close to these enemies, because they bump you around and they can cause you to lose, you know, 
bigger boxes and stuff. So we're 8 out of 25. We finished with 11, so I only got 3 more. And now we have to take the jump, because, well, there's a hole. If we can take our time. I like how you can still lose. You don't have to come in first. I'm so glad they weren't stripped on that. Like, a lot of people thought you did, because, you know, the way Crash 1 was with its, like, evil freaking chances of getting 100%. Like, oh god, that game was just... That game was awful, and I'm hoping that was all four. Like, we're still sixth place, and we're not even really trying to race. God, like, the, the weird pixelation with the ground makes it look like the edges are always holes. Okay, there are no boxes just snug there or something, you know? Behind the ramp. Some games are dicks like that and do that. I almost missed that just because I was trying to, uh... Just look around carefully. Oh, snap. Box. Now, I believe the proper term for them is boxes, not crates. You know, sometimes they'll say both and just throws people off, but I hope that doesn't throw you off. Okay, good. I didn't miss one with that bunch of four. Like, I always hate those in games. Like, with the whole Coco running levels and stuff like that, it's just so annoying. And there we go. He can cry all he wants because technically we came here for what we wanted. Okay. That was a weird bup bup on my phone. Oh. My girlfriend just sent me money. Like, okay, anyways, let's go back to level 12, which is the water level, and get both gems. Funny thing is, um... The first water level was originally in the wa- uh... As level 2 as well. Did World 2 have a water level? I don't think it did. I think it introduced us to the, um... Two levels, which I believe make a bigger appearance in the next world. It's like, I believe Coco shows back up. In certain worlds, just bring in more of something than others, you know? Each level, is like, I believe, shows up three times in the game. Like, there's like three dinosaur levels, three water levels, three Coco run levels, three... Sea uh, do levels, you know, stuff like that. No, I don't want you here as well. And, wow, 47 lives. Well, then again, I don't think you can actually die in the race level, so I'll literally just go there and farm stuff. Alright, please let me through. Alright, so far so good. I don't really... Okay, you can swim through the chains. Why did the can... Whoa, it actually does make you go down faster. But you guys notice that, um... I was gonna say, my character did something, now I forget, just because I'm too busy trying not to die in this level. Oh, you do get partially sucked into those, so be careful. But I am going to try and keep Aku Aku. Uh -huh. Ah, perfect. Okay, so now. Alright, oh. Sorry, big gulp. I'm gonna call that Eel Big Gulp from now on. And double header, that's gonna be an easy level. I believe that's also the final medieval level. Like I said, there's generally three of each level, and that happens to be one of them. Again, I can't believe we have to go through so many of those water things. Little whirlpools. Sharks. It's a shark's life for me. I belong in the shark tank with all my business experience. Aha! My button actually worked for me that time. Oh. Are you actually gonna work here? Oh, it's because it sucks you in. Okay. I see how you work. Oh, Jesus H. Boobs. I almost got sucked in there. Okay! So we have a few things to go through again, like this one. You just gotta be careful, they suck you up, and that's what I always forget that they do. They are whirlpools, after all, it would make sense to suck you up. Since that's what they do in real life, you know? 
Where's the next one again? Next. There it is. So I got Aku Aku. I don't believe those can kill me right now because I do have Aku. And again, I'm not 100% sure. And I don't want to risk it too much. Okay. All you have to do for this TNT is just touch it. Literally, it's all you do. And here we go. I believe there's going to be a checkpoint back here. Yeah. So now if we have to backtrack, we have to go through even more than we did before. So can you... Crash, can you go through? I believe, then again, there is another um, exit out this way. And I believe this is actually where the Nitro Switch is. So to get the gem, like the silver gem, you actually have to come the secret gem path. Just for those who want to actually get 100%. Oh my lord. Holy boxes. There's a lot. Oh hey, that means there's only nine, nine nitro back there. Oh man, this does not look pleasant. Run! Yeah, see, that's where you get the gem. Like, I guess you could backtrack all that way, but why would you? You just go to the first ending. The level itself actually is not very long, or that difficult. You just gotta be careful and have a control that actually works. It actually smartened up. It had a few little issues. Then again, the water levels aren't very. And is is entropy high? Like, look at his eyes. They're like dark red. It's like, oh, I'm so high, man. Oh lord. Anyways, we're off to double header. Well, you've crashed a few parties before, but I never expected you to make it this far. If you don't turn back, I will inflict a thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe! Ooh, Uka Uka and Cortex are mad, but we are foiling their evil plan. But I still want to know how we got to this thing in the first place. Like, I know we have... What's his face? Aku Aku. Oh, come on, man. So yeah, the thing with double headers, we got these two-headed neocortex giant things. Because they still have their glasses, apparently. And yeah, to actually stop them, you want to go to where they're not swinging and then just hit them in the head. It doesn't kill them, and I believe they can stand back up, but... Oh, come on! I lost Aku Aku because of the freaking explosion that the frog caused. Can jump on them. I don't believe they actually do anything. And I believe that keeps them down. Yay! Where's Gandalf? And it's raining. Instead of having night or day here, we just have rain, sun, and cloud, I guess. Mocha fruit! Yummy, yummy, mocha fruit! Oh, that was perfect! Wait, will it blow up that separate one? Oh, good thing I got away from it, because it did. I almost had invincibility time again, man. Goodbye, sir. Don't know if they can actually hurt you just by running, like, by you running into them like other enemies. I don't think they can. Boink. Just wait for these TNT to blow up patiently. I have a feeling the bonus levels here is going to be difficult or something crazy like that. Oh, that didn't even trigger it. Okay. Trigger! Oh, I missed the, uh... Extra bonus from it, man. Hey, Gandalf! How you doing, bro? See you're looking healthy, and you're looking daddy. <laughs> I'm such a jokester. Sorry, Froglets. Man! That was just terrible. I lost both Aku Akus in this level. I believe the bonus points, or like the bonus levels, actually count as checkpoints as well. There are a lot of boxes in here. We have, you know, it tells you down there. 30 boxes here. And that's literally almost all the remaining boxes. Whoa, what the hell was that? Some weird ass delayed slide thing. Boom. Okay, trying to avoid those, that way it doesn't blow up the, uh, Bouncy platform. I guess this is just using a lot of these bounce platforms, eh? Boink. Boom. Wow, that didn't even trigger those, but okay. Uh -huh. How come? I swear that's supposed to trigger those. 
Apparently not. And there we go, there should be the last two boxes. I only got one life from this, though. That's sad to me. Hopefully we can get more. No, we're not gonna get any more. We don't have enough Wumpa Fruit. <laughs> exactly 20 boxes remaining. Oh, I guess I won't actually attack you. I was going to attack you, but it doesn't seem like it's worthwhile. I like how Toad Village had less toads in this level. They still sound and look like frogs, so I don't know what they were thinking. It's just like supposed to be a joke or something. Why <laughs> still kill them, man? That was that was that was just hilarious. Stunningly hilarious. Boink. 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 No, no more magic. This is not Mordor. Or Middle Earth or Hogwarts or whatever the American one is of Hogwarts. Whoa. What the hell? Well, that worked. And that's 100%, so let's leave. Yeah, that level will be easier to get the 100% with the relics once we get Death Tornado Spin. Which I believe we actually get here. I think. Yeah, we do get it here. And there we go. So, let's take on the Area 3 boss, Entropy. Bloop. Ah, you little vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into. This time you've done it. This time you've done it. <laughs> Now you're on my time, you little skunk! Give me the crystals! I'm a little skunk, so yeah, this level, we just have to avoid all his shots. Well, and his waves of fire. I highly recommend just stay towards, like, the circle on the ground. Because it makes it the easiest to get to him, or, like, to avoid all stuff. Then, once he does that and rests, just come over here and smack him, and do it again, but on this side. I just realized, I think he changes, like, time zones. So now we're in, like, a different... Looks like a different, like, area. Yeah, I keep having to push up my glasses. Uh-oh. Man, so many waves of fire! Alright, let's get him again! Smack! And now what are we in? Oh, dark blue with... Magnet things. Man, those are actually easier to avoid than when I was a kid. My girlfriend's texting me again, but she'll have to wait till after this episode. Okay, right, just keep going that way. Well, that's it, man. That's all you got. And there we go. My time is up. But yours soon will be too. Oh man, that just sounds evil. Death Tornado Spin. To spin longer and faster, or to glide while in the air, press the square button repeatedly. Sounds awesome. Now we have the ability to use my Death Tornado. You insolent, insignificant morons! By defeating Entropy, you have placed us all in grave risk! Yeah. Crash, Coco, you must realize that this time twister machine is very delicate. Without Dr. Entropy's constant care and control, who knows what it will do? Well, we'll find out what it does. Actually, I don't think it really has anything to do with the in the entirety of the game. So yeah, with that, World 3 is done. And that leads us to World 4, the Egyptian world. And man... Neocortex is printed all over the walls. But anyways, we have Sphinxinator, another Sphinx level. We have Bye Bye Blimps, a plane level. Tell No Tales, another um, Sea Dew level. See, this is a lot of cocoa so far. We got Future Frenzy, our first future level. And we got Tomb Waiter, which is, I believe, technically uh, our first tomb level. I believe the tombs 
and the Sphinx levels are different. So anyways, I'll leave you guys with a goodbye, thank you for all for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace out, this is Crash Bandicoot spinning off.